Hello everyone. So uh, uh, for now, we'll show you how to calculate uh, what? calculate each land cover area in specific region. For example, I'm going to use uh, uh, this part of Bandung, I think, this part of West Java. So we calculate of each area. For example, for build up is how many uh, hectares, and for forest, how many hectares, and for uh, crops, uh, crops is how many hectares. Okay, first you need to to know uh, which uh, area represent okay, this. So there is a value 10, 20, stroke plan. So each area represents something, okay? Uh, first you need to make uh, a dictionary. Dictionary, I call it. Uh, to show uh, what's the name of each area is. Mm, I don't know. Maybe check, uh, we need to check the which two first. It's possible. Maybe there's value of that. Oh, ah, yeah, that one. Class names. Class palette and class value. The other part is this map, uh, map class value and this class names. So, on what is represent, okay? So, uh, for the class name, I call root get map class name names and for the value, class values. Gonna get which get map class values. Okay, we're gonna print it. Uh, what does it look like? Names plus values. Okay. So there is uh, some value. Right? So this is important. Okay. Uh, and how to cal calculate uh, each area? Uh, you need to make map. You need to make it uh, into uh, to evaluate the value first. I think. Okay, so, so you put uh, this right. Uh, ditch. I call it. Names. Names. Class values. Okay, this dictionary is very important letter. <coughs> and you, you need to turn it to a dictionary. Then you're going to evaluate it later. Ditch evaluate. So uh, we can call it maybe later uh, object, I guess. Then what you need to do now is that uh, you need to call need to print uh, you need is that uh, for each so names is object equal class name right object equal object class names then for the values it's object class value why we need to do if I, because this the value is still in the you know uh, on the or engine we need to call it asynchronously to our uh, computer. Okay, next is that uh, you need to to map each value, area of each value per area. So values, right? We're gonna map it. Map uh, value, each value, which we're gonna calculate the area. So filter area, you can get it from. Uh, object obviously which equal the value you want for example uh the what uh the uh, tree or water equal value then we can multiply it to our image pixel area then maybe if you want to be a hectare i need to multiply it uh, not to divide it by 10,000 10, then I need to reduce region where we use the reducer is sum scale you got 10 because it's sentinel then what else oh, the rate the geometry I guess is the geometry that we create this is about bundle reduce region yeah scale charges oh, space effort it could 
this effort <laughs> to maximize our, our effort. Okay, we get the value. Let's check the each value for each area. Okay, to area. So it's running. Ah, it's a dictionary. Map. Okay, we can get the map value. We can get map. And this is the area. Okay. I'm going to return an AA list on which there is uh, some value. We're going to add an index here, index of the value. Well, let's try to make a list for a second. A list. Guys, the value is first the name of the name is equal index. So we get the name of the object, right? But we also want to get the value of the area. So a number, vector area, tail. So it's be only integer and then sat one or unit two. Okay, let's. Let's print now so like uh, ah, three cover, right? So three cover is a uh, three top thirty hundred thousand area. And you can also make it into a table, you know. Into a table. So what we need to do is to make a table is that uh, the area one, which is you know still at least we need to evaluate it, evaluate it again. <laughs> Evaluate function is table area. We call it okay. Let's print table area. And what is the book like? So it's like a list of lists, I guess. So yes, we get a list of this, right? And what we need to do is that uh, we need to add a, a, a column, right? Like a, a, a column of, you know, push, like for example, red purple, area, and the uh, size unit in a printable area. What's the button? So there is. Oh no, I should push in shift because I'm going to be in the first. See? And cover array unit. Now we can make a table from that. We can using the uh, chart, using chart one. As you see, there's a UI chart here. UI chart data table. It's the, you know, table area. And chart type you're gonna use uh, what we call it table chart table and for the option you don't need option like this just print the leaves okay let's print the chart ah see you see there's land cover the area how many hectares shrub land grassland crop land build up then you can also download it can download this file, you know it. <laughs> yeah, it's taking time. It's okay. Uh, I think you can download it if finish. Ah, see this download CSV. We download it. You can see the object there. <coughs> So the HSV, you can put it in the Excel for something. Okay, back to this. So this is how you calculate. You can also use this for any area. For example, I move this to Jogja. Right? Let's see if we can calculate the same stuff. Yeah, we can calculate it. Yeah, this is for value. So I guess that's it. Uh, thank you. Bye.